Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to make blurry video clear in CapCut. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. So in this case, we'll be trying to make a blurry video uh, quite clear. Now, some disclaimer on this one, you could only make a video really clear by, via CapCut here in certain uh, way only. Like, meaning, uh, you won't be able to make things or make a video uh, really clear if the video itself is intensely blurry. That means you can only make your video clear in a small amount. Like for example, it only has like a small amount of blurriness on it. You can make it a lot sharper via the CapCut application here. But for intense blurriness, you need to use other tools like AI tools to actually make things a lot sharper in, uh, in your video. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and start. So first thing we need to do is you need to go ahead and go to CopCut here, and we need to create a new project. So let's go ahead and click on New Project here, and choose the blurry video that you have, and click on Add. Now, once you've done that, you should be able to see your project here. And as you can see, my video is actually uh, kind of blurry um, compared to the original. And it, uh, the original is really, uh, really uh, sharp, but this one is actually quite blurry. So what we need to do here is we need to add some effects on it and we need to export it. Now to do that, click on the effects option you see there. And from here, you need to look for video effects. And from here, just type in the following, which is going to be neon. Just press on search. Once you've done that, you could go ahead and choose whatever neon effect that you see here. And as you can see, it is now in invert inverted color. And in this case, let's go ahead and click on any screen here or go back. Click on the check at the bottom right. And from here, make sure that it actually extends to the whole video that I have. Once you've done that, go ahead and export that video at the top right of your screen. And once it's actually exported, you could go ahead and read that, re-add it into your project. Well, in this case, let's go ahead and do that. Now, in this case, once you've exported that, you could go ahead and just click on the new project option here, re-add your first video. Once you've added that, what we need to do is we need to add an overlay. Click on the overlay button that you see at the bottom of the screen. Click on add overlay and choose your neon image or video. In this case, let's go ahead and click on add. And from here, once it's actually added, what we need to do next is we need to make sure that it actually fits our whole screen. In this case, make sure that it actually fits fits the whole screen here. And when, I, when it actually fits, you could go ahead and just press on any here. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to make sure that it actually begins and ends at the same time. In this case, if you see any uh, anything that actually lapses here, make sure that you actually properly fit it. In this case, let's go ahead and fit it properly here. In this case, let's go ahead and position our video here. And once we've done that, we are now ready to start or initiate the process. In this case, click on your inverted video here. And from here, go ahead and look for the blend option. And from here, look for the option that says burn. Now from burn, what you need to do is you need to reduce this to a certain amount. So let's just choose a certain amount here. Maybe I want to use 20. So you could basically use 15 to 20 here. So choose accordingly, depending on your video. But in this case, maybe I want to make it a lot lesser. So let's go ahead and click on 15 or 16 here. And again, make sure that your video has it actually complete. As you can see, sometimes you'll have that a weird outline on it if you don't have it actually fitting the whole video. But in this case, once you've done that, the next thing that we want to do is we want to apply this one and click on the original video. Now, in the original video, what we need to do next is we need to look for an option here or a uh, option or editing a tool that we could use here to actually improve the video or gel video further. In this case, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we have the original tools here. And from here, select your original video. From here, we need to choose the option here that says just look for the adjust option and from here look for the sharpen option here as well and in this case you could go ahead and apply a certain sharpness into your video in this case uh, you could go ahead and do 100 here or 50 depending on your video so i'm just going to give this at 100 percent and from here click on the apply button at the bottom right and from here on as you can see we were able to apply our sharpening in this case, this will actually affect your the look or the overall look of your video. It's going to give the illusion that it's actually a lot sharper. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.